Well, Sioux uh, was originally established around the 1860s and it is located in the Mirik Valley of the district of Darjeeling and enjoys the benefits of nature because, you know, it's a north facing garden. So we have the benefit of both the sun and the rain. In Sioux, we have a majority of chinery teas, the old chinery bushes that are still there. Sioux, you know, traditionally has been making more teas in the past, but of late years, we have been trying to concentrate more and more on quality to make better teas for our customers. We found uh, this idea some six, seven years ago. Uh, we toyed around with it and we ultimately decided to go ahead and do it. And uh, it was to our delight that we did find that the teas did turn out to be much more better. Apart from being certified organic, we also pursue biodynamic practices. And therefore, this idea of moonlight teas is also very relevant in that context. So since we follow the lunar calendar, we exercised our plucking, you know, on this full moon night. We plucked this full moon tea only from designated quality section. They are plucked on this full moon night. People are trained to do it. And uh, because, you know, you will appreciate that with mashals, it's difficult to pluck at night. So roughly 2 to 250 kilograms of tea and uh, make around 50 to 60, 70 odd kgs of made tea. And that is exclusive to tea box. See, the term muscatel in Darjeeling is used for the ultimate in flavor and quality. And that generally is associated with the second flush. However, at Siok, we believe that there is no end to improvement of quality and therefore the innovation of the moonbeam teas. We find that in this particular cup we have a vast arrow, you know, array of aromas which emanate from its infusions. The cups are nice and fruity with a lot of body. It's a cup of tea which actually you sip and then you say wow, that's our moonbeam musketeer.